back, the hugely popular TV show Strictly Come Dancing is going back on our screens this autumn. And it was announced uh, this week that there's four new dancers in town all battling it out to lift the coveted Glitter Ball trophy. Now, many of you will recognise one of those dancers from his time on Dancing with the Stars Ireland, the very talented Kai Witherington. And he joins us now. Good morning to morning, you, Kai. Kai. Good morning, guys. How are we doing? You OK? We're doing very well. Congratulations on the new gig, Kai. That's super news. Are you delighted? Thanks very much. Yes, very, very delighted. Uh, I've known for a little while now, but uh, it's nice to finally kind of get it out there and the news is, the news is out. Public. And, like, and, and tell us, know. what was the um, what was the process like? I mean, did they, did they approach you, Kai? Did you have to audition? I mean, obviously they know what you can do, they've seen what you can do, but how did it come about? Uh, well, I've always kind of been on the, the radar with them as well. Like, they know a lot of the dancers around the world, so... Um, I guess it was the right time, right place for me. Um, I had an interview last year, but obviously there was limited amount of professionals last yeah. year because of COVID. Um, and they were taking four new professionals this year. So I guess I was lucky, right place, right time, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I'm very, very delighted to be part of the show, obviously. It's really exciting. Tell us about your time on Dancing with the Stars Ireland, because <clears throat> I mean, we all loved the show. We loved watching you on it. Um, you had a few interesting partnerships um, the most interesting, I suppose, was iconic because you were put together with uh, Brian Dowling, the first male pairing on a dance show like that. Yes, it was. It was a real iconic moment. Um, I remember it really well. It was because obviously it was switch up week in uh, in Ireland where we only swap for for one week. But uh, yeah, it was a real, a really amazing uh, moment for for dancing and Irish television. I think it was a real break breakthrough moment. And I mean, who who better to do it than Brian? Brian was amazing, and I think we executed like a a really good performance. So uh, yeah, it went all good in the end, and uh, definitely a special place uh, is held for that moment for sure. Well, I've had the pleasure of directing uh, Brian and Panto. It's he's uh, I think <laughs> it, it, fun to work with is an understatement, isn't it? He is one of a kind, yeah, yeah. one of a kind, but we remain very, very good friends. He wished me well uh, the other day when it got announced. He was like, I knew you'd get it anyway. Yeah, so. right, right. <laughs> Listen, let's talk about how you got into dancing um, because uh, I was talking to you during the break because, you know, reading up about you, uh, your dad came onto my radar because your dad was a professional footballer, played for Southampton, Premier League player. He's still involved. He's director of football at Bristol Rovers. So was football on the radar when you were a little, little fella? Yeah, right about when I was that age, I started to think that I was going to be the next, you know, David Beckham. So I really wanted to follow in my in my dad's footsteps. Uh, but alongside that, I had dancing, which kind of initially was like a kind of to calm me down because I was just so hyper about playing football all the time. They were like, we need to kind of just like get in chilled out and do something. We live next door to some dance teachers. And long story short, you know, they got me into it. I got a little partner. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed music like Elvis Presley. I was always like jiving in the, in the mirror, you know. So I ended up kind of going into that and it was always running parallel for a little while. But then came a point where the British champion wanted to dance with me. And then I had a contract offer from a, a Premier League club. So I had to basically choose because I knew one of them was going to be my career. Um, and you chose, you chose dancing. You had an offer of a Premier League contract. I know, yeah. Wow. At 12 years old as well, yeah. It was, it was one of those moments where I was like, what if, what if? And funnily enough, the guy, the guy who uh, was, was with me getting the contract offer, they offered it to me, was, was Luke Shaw. And they, they offered it to me. <laughs> I oh. don't believe it. So clearly... clearly he just scored in the European final last he week. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, clearly you were, you were handy. Where, what position did you play? I was a right-footed left back, so I had I could play with both feet. So I was I was uh, not the left back in the change room, the actual one on the pitch. So. <laughs> well, clearly, your talents were um, were made use of on the dance floor. Is it true that you share uh, a space, let's say, with Giovanni, one of the pro dancers on Strictly, who's been giving us lessons uh, recently enough yeah. on Ireland AM? Yeah, I do. I do. He's, he's he's on tour right now. He's got a couple of days left before we start Strictly on Monday. So. There's a bit of peace and quiet around the house. <laughs> Lovely. Which is nice. And what's um, the process with Strictly? How is that going to work now in terms of uh, COVID? Have they given you a sense of how the show is going to play out? Yeah, well, I hope they don't dress us up like how we were showing. <laughs> exactly. I don't think that's going to happen. But I don't no, know. 
It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a, a strict, quite a strict series in terms of you know bubbling with your partners. Like I, don't, I would imagine stuff like that. Um, obviously, we're getting tested as much as we can. I know the rehearsals are really strict because obviously restrictions in the UK are, are being lifted quite heavily. Um, but obviously, we've got to stay as safe as we can. Um, you know, making sure no one tests positive and you know getting pinged and all this kind of stuff. So. It's uh, yeah, we're trying to stay as safe as we can in the UK, um, especially with street. Any it's any really idea who your partners, your potential partners, might be? I honestly have no idea. Everyone asks me this, even when I was doing Ireland, they were like, yeah. who, "Who are the stuff? Come on, you must know." We get told nothing. Probably an hour before you know, we know. And right. Oh, but listen, looking ahead to the series, I mean, given your background and given. You know, I'd imagine you have a very competitive nature, and the dance world is a competitive nature yeah. because you're competing in competitions all the time. Yeah. You're, I presume you want to go into this and you want to win. So, because you know, this show, this program, it's the Premier League of, of dancing. You want to go in there and do the best that you can do. So, when that partner gets announced and it's somebody who you think might be able to dance, you're going to go, oh, no, no, my chance is gone. Because <laughs> I presume you want to win it in your debut season, don't you? Well, look, I, I always say this. Give me anybody and I'll teach them how to dance. Obviously, we'd love to have some... Me, then. <laughs> oh, I love your confidence, Kai. If you could choose sure you any partner, if you could just sit back and go, I would like this person as my partner, who would you choose in a dream world? That's a tough question. I don't know. I think somebody... Somebody... I don't know about a specific person, but somebody that's got a bit of crack about them, someone yeah. that has, has a lot, maybe has a bit of rhythm and just wants to learn to wants to learn to dance. That's all I, I care about. Okay. From, that, from then on, they could, be, they could be anybody. It doesn't bother me. Well, listen, we should be watching with interest. Congratulations on landing the gig. Uh, we've no Thank doubt you. you'll shine over there like you did here. Listen, good to talk to you, Kai. Take care. Thank you, Kai. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Now, to follow Kai and all things Strictly, check out his Instagram page, at Kai Wid. Now, stay with us. We're cooking lobster in the kitchen. If you're going to have a cuppa, make it snappy. <laughs>